Alright guys, and I'm back with my 250 subscriber special. Uh, this one was a bit of a shout for me. I owe two people a massive shout out for the help the other day. It was really unexpected and they are um, Mark Fitcher and Graham Forston, is it? Um, Graham from Lakeside basically. I'll put their channels down below or in the eye. Uh, if you've not checked them out, please go and check them out. They're very great guys. And um, so I owe them a big thank you, and I owe my subscribers a big thank you, new and old, so thank you. As you can see, we are looking at the um, Backman First World War Ambulance Train Set number 40. Well, it's not a train set, it's a train pack. Um, very nice pack indeed, uh, Hornby should take note. Um, yep, it's a very nice detailed box. Um, there's what you get, you get a city class and... Oh, we get three coaches. And there'll be a picture now of what's on the back. So yeah, um, there'll be a bit of history up next um, of the model. And then I'll show you what gets in the pack and then we'll have a little running session. But once again, guys, um, thank you for, for all your help and thanks to all my new subscribers. Here is some model information on the class and the pack. Um, Batman Brand Lines uh, manufactured a model of City of Truro in double O for sale throughout the National Railway Museum. In December 2014, Batman Brand Lines launched a commemorative World War I ambulance pack. The pack contained a model of 3711 City of Birmingham in its wartime khaki livery, three Midland coaches in Crimson Lake and a six um, World War One figures. I think they got the livery wrong on the uh, coaches, but yeah. Um, in in the early 60s they were there was a kit master double O gauge um, plastic kit uh, to build a city of Truro. So this is what you get in the box. You get a lovely cover, um, picture cover. You get a bag of details, all sorts in there. A new baggy cover, um, lamp irons, uh, shovels, all in there. You also get, if you can see them there, these are for the coaches. It's surprising you only get three. One well, there should be four, but we only get three. Um, and you also get uh, staff and soldiers. It's a nice touch. I'll take this off. And see, it's plastic. And then more plastic. Oh, post I mean. You get. A diagram, an exploded diagram. I'm sure you've all seen these by now. Um, I do try not to show them. You get a book. Well, yeah, a book. Which sort of helps you how to decide what area you want to do, I believe. Yeah, there, what area and stuff. Um, mine's mainly, well, mine is Steam. Um, as long as it's British steam, I don't mind. You get a lovely cardboard certificate here of authenticity. Uh, mine is 1353 out of, I think it's 2000, I'm not sure. But that is very, very nice. And last but not least, you get your usual do you want to join the Collectors Club? And not forgetting your loco. It's a Stunning Backman City Class in khaki livery, City of Birmingham. Uh, cab is wonderful. I will do a, a full review on this. And then you get three Midland um, coaches. At either ends, they say 40, 80, and you get the Red Cross too. The ambulance trains of the First World War. By 1910, the 
War Rail Council and the London North Western Railway and the War Office medical authorities had drawn up plans for an ambulance train that could be converted from existing stock. These plans were forwarded to various railway companies that had agreed to supply an ambulance train, if such required. When war was declared in August 1914, all of the, all the war office needed to do was ask for these plans to be impended immediately. Twelve were ordered and all were delivered to Southampton Docks by the 30th of August, as this was a, such a mechanised war. Troops were being deployed in numbers never seen before, resulting in casualties of equal magnitude and wasn't long, in, long before the numbers of the home ambulance trains has risen to 20. It soon became apparent that the trains using for transporting wounded troops from France were woeful and inadequate and in December 1914 the War Office quickly arranged for two ambulance trains to be, to be delivered for use in Europe. As the war dragged on more ambulance trains were required for service overseas. By its conclusion on the 11th of November 1918, a total of 30 British and 19 American ambulance trains were in operation abroad, all of them which had been built by the British railway companies. Ambulance train number 40 was built by the Midland Railway Companies in 1917 and was converted um, from existing cholesterol coaches um, to eclip the profile roofs that allowed the three tiered beds to be installed within the standard height limits. Ambulance trains were usually staffed by a minimum of 15 people, one medical office, two nurses, sisters, one non commissioned office, nine RAMCs, order line, two cooks, that constants that were numbers of casualties abroad could exceed 350. They had a they had to work tirely through the journey to keep the wounded comfortable. By April 1919, the total of the sick wounded had arrived back at British docks transport onwards by an ambulance train that had reached a staggering 2.6 million. Here is some quick information on the class of lurker that you get in the ambulance train pack. The Great Western 3700 class, the Great Western Railway 3700 class or the city class Locomotive were a series of 20 440 steam locomotive designed to haul express passenger trains. Here is some information on the class. Uh, power type is steam, designed by George Jackson Churchwood, built at Swindon Works, uh, Great Western, uh, between 1902 and 1909. Uh, 20 were built as we know. The wheel configuration is a 440, as we know. Uh, fuel um, is coal. Of um, cylinders two inside, loco brakes with steam, train brakes with vacuum. They operated only under the Great Western. Um, the class is a 3700. The power classification is an A by Great Western. Their official name is the City Class. The actual load is blue. They were withdrawn uh, between October 1927 and May 1931 and only one is preserved which is um, City of Truro 3434 or 3711 City of Birmingham was built May 1903 as numbered 
3434. Um, superheated was fitted on November 1910, May 1922, shed allocation Chester, last shed allocation uh, Leamington, it was withdrawn on July 1930. So yeah guys, that's the end of the running session. Um, overall it's a lovely, lovely set. And not bad for the money I paid for it. Um, the Loco is nice in delivery. Uh, Batman have really done a really nice job, should be proud of it. Um, so yeah, um, let me know what you think to it and uh, it'd be nice to hear anyway. In the yard we had um, Dwight D. Eisenhower, who I think he was a president during, I think, the Second World War. They have a wartime black um, coronation, city of Edinburgh. Then I believe these were later a rod class, I think, during the First World War. I think it's a uh, Robertson 04, where it weathered. Uh, obviously, the crest is um, right or wrong, I don't know. Um, they have a WD. Weathered again, and then we have um, the S. Well, the S one hundred, um, which probably did pull an ambulance train during the Second World War, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's a very nice um, set. Uh, please do me a favour and check out. That's better. Uh, check out Graham and uh, Mark's channel, please, if you haven't. Um, would be nice. Until next time guys, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from them. Bye.